Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. A prominent mainstream psychiatrist is claiming that demonic possession is real and victims seeking exorcism should not be ignored. I'm not quite awake yet, so I'm kind of stumbling on words here, but uh, it's a phenomenon that's on the rise through the world. The number of cases of demonic possession and demands for priests to carry out exorcisms is, according to multiple sources, soaring. Medical science remains skeptical. However, Princeton and Yale educated mainstream psychiatrist believes demonic possession is indeed very real, claims that the majority of Americans agree with him. The 25 years' experience in private psychiatric practice as a professor of New York Medical College and Columbia University, Dr. Richard Gallagher has a rare vantage point to observe human behavior. And then there is the inhuman. Now I'm going to stop this here. I'm not going to go over the entire article. I'm just going to skim a bit. It's too long. So as Pope Francis has repeatedly reminded his followers that Satan is a real thing, roaming the earth to devour souls like a lion. Isn't it Pope Francis who uh, also said that hell doesn't exist and the devil doesn't exist? That guy is a piece of work. So we're going sk to skim down. Here's a picture of Richard Gallagher. Well, the case is referred to him for possible possession. You know that there are people who suffer tremendously. There's a very strict criteria for determining the person's problem and not just an intuiting I'm dealing with this from a very scientific point of view, he said. Speaking in Telegraph uh, at his office in Westchester County, New York, Dr. Gallagher said that while possession is very rare and his medical opinion is real. There are cases of spirit possession in pretty much every culture, he said. He has evaluated cases referred to him by priests, rabbis, Christian ministers, and representatives of other spiritual traditions. Now, this uh, talks about some Satanist called Julia. Julia gave Dr. Gallagher permission to write about her and on the condition that her name and other identifying information, such as where she lived in the U.S., be changed. Other than that, most details he took no literary license in telling her story. Okay. And somewhere in this article, I saw it, it talks about super strength, paranormal, that kind of thing that can't be explained by science. Well, except for the paranormal part, yeah, it can. You know, super strength we've seen in uh, PCP users, for instance. They pay for it in terms of uh, skeletal muscle, muscle uh, injury, but it does happen. Anyway, uh, I don't believe this, by the way, and I'm going to put in a shameless plug while I'm at it for my new movie. It's right along the same lines. It's called Science Core, The Demonic Possession Chronicles. It's on a distant planet where... Something is happening to people, and they start getting possessed of the devil. Well, you'd have to watch it to understand it. It's not ready yet, but it's coming. I just got the uh, one of the biggest scenes done yesterday. 
I don't have much left to do. Don't believe this, folks, but, uh, somebody, you know, takes me to an exorcism and shows me objects flying around the room or something, I'll believe it real fast. And one more thing before I go. If you've heard of the exorcism of Emily Rose, that is a fiction. It's actually based on a real German case, but Emily Rose, as put forth in the movie, is a total fiction. She didn't exist. It's based on a German girl, actually. It's very similar, I mean, the plot, similar to what actually happened. Anyway, that's it. Uh, don't believe this. I'm an agnostic. Don't believe in demons. But thanks for watching anyway.